What up, everybody? What's up? This is Tuck here, and you've reached Tuck Notes, Beginner Stock Talk. And I'm here to talk to you about today's stock market. I'm also here to let you know that we have some, begin, uh, some new subscribers to the channel that are new to the stock market, just like me. That's why it's called Beginner Stock Talk. And uh, so if I'm going to be speak, I might be speaking in some uh, more, I'm going to just say preschoolish type terms. That's not an offensive way. Trust me, it's not. It's just an easy way to get the message out. Um, I'm going to do my best to do that. I think I do that anyway. <laughs> But, all right, so today is Tuesday. I'm sorry with the delays of the videos. Um, thanks for still watching them and uh, staying positive with me and Tuck Notes. And Colin, thank you for helping me out with that guy. You know, whatever. Um, there's haters out there, everyone. If you're a YouTube person, you didn't know that. There are. So, it's round two today. It's, you know... Tuesday, it's the end of Tuesday. GameStop, wait, I feel like my source is just going to go on a run. There it is. He's going to go on a run for the rest of the week about GameStop, AMC, because this is unprecedented things that we're going through. What happened today and what you will hear later is, from Kathy Woods is like unprecedented times of things that are happening and also like bullish stuff that is showing off kind of the stock market in a way they can show both sides of it losers and winners and where do you want to be you want to be right you want to be a winner but you don't want to be a loser you want to be, you know, medium and up all right so uh GameStop took a huge hit today. Uh, it was 60% down, which is like, I don't know. It was up $100 before. Yeah, it was $100 to drop, I think. And then 60% uh, drop and 5% afterwards. I didn't write down the figure, I'm sorry. Uh, it sold off significantly, which is an indicator to someone or some fashion. And then AMC, uh, you know, uh, is 783 or 782 is what it closed at. It's down 41%. And I'm just bringing this up so I can give you the live report. AMC is currently seven dollars and fifty-two cents, and Game Stock's eighty-five twenty-five. There you go. Those are the real numbers now. Uh, don't go all in. All right, you have to wrap, like anybody that's involved in this options stuff. I've, I'm not a fan of. I never talk about it on my show. Uh, I don't. It's not. It's not stock. It, it is not like uh, what do you say? You're not doing stock. You're not stock trading. You, you you're learning how to gamble and go. You might as well move to Las Vegas. I mean, seriously, come on. Uh, I don't know. I'm not like all for it, and I do think there is bad juju that does come to. Uh, out of this and that will happen and you will see that to certain people it's happened already uh, probably to good and bad people but you guys everyone knows that you get yourself into this situation on your own okay no one puts you there all right no one put me there I should say it like that but I'm not there so in the next few days we're going to see game stock bounce um, this is more supposed to spe specific to game stock but it, it does Pretty much is similar to AMC, and it, so it's Tuesday, Wednesday. You could see it go down fifty to sixty dollars. This is from my my source, not me. Um, 
but but I have some good news. There is, I have a smile and everything works out in full circle. And I got this from Kathy Woods' speeches and I gotta get into that. But, uh, and it's weird how it all works. It's very, it's a long story, but everything comes to full circle at the end. And I think they figured out a way to do that. And so the way that it's gonna do it, you will see a boom, we are, we, I'm not gonna say you will, you may see a rise or a quick flash right at the end of the week of AMC and GameStop. So if you can find GameStop or AMC at its lowest low before Thursday or Thursday, I this is a all unknown. I don't know at all. Everything is speculative. But um, be on your phone or whatever, if I can, if I'm not working or if I am, whatever, uh, to get that gain when it gets up to that spike. That's all I have to say about that. And it's right. Now we're gonna hear from Kathy Woods. And what I did was I basically, um, I was so fortunate I was able to record off of a computer, off of like my phone, the words that she said in the interview. So I'm gonna read you the interview and I'm gonna to try to review. Uh, some of it, it didn't catch all the wording. So it's gonna, it was on auto ed. So just go with me, bear with me and try to get the big, picture of everything because if you're watching this and you're a millennial you need to pay attention to what i'm about to read okay and also bear with me with the edit, auto edit millennials are going from 33 percent of the workforce now to 75 percent there's a tremendous intragenerational wealth transfer the biggest we've ever seen in history so they're going to control a lot more than even baby boomers did at the time. And I think it means positive, there are positive ramifications for both the equity markets and the crypto market, both of which millennials, millenniums, not millennials, have taken in, oh, taken in which may have may have taken an interest so the game stock and to let you know then let's get to that the hedge this isn't making sense that the hedge funds one of the most interesting things about this is that they're actually aiding and embedding and I don't know I don't think you've heard of this anywhere else, but they're adding in and betting the bond bubble. What is happening, what's happening is these companies are left for dead by innovation, by a way, uh, by a, by a way at selling some of their bonds and selling at 25 cents on the dollar they're they're dead as a doornail not even the the not even a bond investor's eyes would when she dropped below 75 on a 75 cent on a on a bond 75 cents or a dollar the risk of a rat bankruptcy looms large. So now some of these companies are refinancing or actually assessing the equity markets. They're not refinancing. And dad, dads are at, dads are at right now, they're, I don't know what this, and are willing right now, just go with me please, uh, willing right now, Right now, they will assess the equity markets and their bond prices are skyrocketing. Uh, there's got to, there's got to be some tripling. Think, think this was in Christmas, just had gone from 25 cents to 75 cents. Maybe that's the company or something. Uh, now, if you ask me, a student of innovation, 
Maybe there's a shout of survival here and maybe more so now that we've now maybe 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 more so now than that they've been able to to do an equity offer in which they could not have done two weeks ago but mm, two weeks ago maybe but i would not be putting my money there i want to be on the right side of the change that's where what our kids are all about to do i like the two-sided market i disagree with what that i agreed with elon musk on almost everything certainly in terms of technology but on this point that short sellers are a negative are a negative for the market that is exactly what you said about short sellers as you heard from that's kathy woods this is uh, i guess someone else saying this what else she believes is now oh this is my guy talking now so this is what you heard from Al kathy woods what else she believes is the other stressors provide a fantastic opportunity of course when this when the stock price drops all the way down you know the hedge funds and the etf managers like kathy woods would so they can come and then they can buy these uh, amazing discount stocks you know you know so that is the beauty of how do you do how do you be i don't know sure that's exactly what's been happening to gamestop to know to to you now we have a deep we have deep as value we have uh, as other investors i start i started i start opportunity of this game stock start dropping and they come in and they piled in and they opened their positions so sometimes it's going up trinity but let's continue to hear from kathy woods um, so she says what's terrorizing during tesla's plunge of 2019 if you have the courage of your conviction in your courage comes from research bank then in what you did we what sorry back back then what did we do that plunged when nanny speculators were saying that they're going to run out of money our simple questions was how can that be how can that be the markets have no shout 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 the shut down and sure and sure enough they did an offering where it is at a lower price than any of us would have liked sure but it is but it was small compared to the ones they've done recently we bought we bought all the way down it was a gift for us to have those short ribs <laughs> everything you're doing is based on research. And I think with these meme stocks, people are saying what the, what's the research like and what are they doing this on right? These, what are they doing on these right companies? Uh, right, these companies, you want to be on, you want to be on that as you said, the right side of innovation. So in this, I, ex I exposed, expose is exposed to, I don't know why I said three times, but it's exposed, it's exposed the systemic risk to free market and other, uh, and other think it's the very definitive definition of free market at full truth 
will win out here and the truth is history and is not going to be on the side of those companies that didn't invest in us to move into the new world quickly enough. I'm probably not going to be able to be a big force moving forward. So what are the things that I did find interesting? I didn't know that his stock could be at a hundred, I think they're saying game stock could be at 140% of the float of a stock. 140% the float of a stock could be sure that was a surprise to me. And to think that the float of a stock could be sure, I don't know if I just read the same thing, surprise to me. And to think that the hedge funds or whomever is shorting us, not just hedge funds, there are all kinds of investors shorting out there, uh, out there, where, out there, which funds or whomever is short, and it's not just hedge funds. There's, a, I, there's all kinds of people investing out there to see if, if they will stay or if they will move to such outrageous positions relative to the flow out uh, out there. So kind of inner, kind of inner way that they might see this coming. And I do know that from one, from one cup in trouble, there was that die, I guess, Reddit folks were focused on the list and the puts of the woods, woods, uncomfortable about that is they probably don't know much about over-the-counter OTC's puts uh, over the counters but those are all pink they can't even see them all this move will do is push back all the all banks but more expensive for the end investors so so it's a little unfortunate as i am an investor i always like to hear the other side of the argument and that's the un, and that's the unfortunate thing that's going on here i think there are people in it now afraid to talk about why they're bearish on certain stocks if during our Tesla 2019 experience, if we didn't have the Kahafa, the, I don't know how to pronounce this word, but it's a cacophone of investors, sell side by side retail institutional putting down Tesla, we wouldn't have gotten the opportunity to buy it that to buy it that we did and we wouldn't have understood how much those innovate investors did not understand what was going to move the stock that helped us and is their voice voices are a shout down that have helped us to that have helped us i shut down i think that I will be doing a disservice to all investors because I want to know what are the arguments against the, this position. Clearly, we're missing something, but we worked. But we worked. We worked. And I came to Tesla. So, uh, that's it. I'm so, so sorry. I know there is a lot of gaps in there. And... Um, Honestly, it's a little bit over the head for me. Um, maybe uh, there's people that, uh, if you're still even listening to this video, uh, that understood this, uh, my hat's off to you because now you know kind of what's going to happen. And I my, my take-home message is basically, like, the stock went up, people got, to, they had to pay off people, and so the stock went a certain direction to cover those people's money. And then the stock went the opposite direction to cover those people's money. 
and now it's going to kind of even out. And that's kind of like what I got out of this, you know, of the big picture. I don't get, I didn't get the specifics, but this woman is a genius, a freaking genius. So I love you guys. Have a good night and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Later. I work tomorrow, first day back at work, so you might get the video later. Peace.